Greetings all, and welcome to my video. From CollectiveEvolution.com MK Ultra Survivor shares the details of her experience. By Arjun Walia. The Facts A survivor of the MK Ultra program shares insight, into parts of the program that the public never really heard about. She is one of multiple people, who have come forward, outlining just how deep the program goes, and how they, brainwash, people. Reflect on. Mind control happens on multiple levels. Whether it's one individual, or a large collective of people, our perceptions and thoughts can, and have been, manipulated. It's our role to recognize this, and become self-aware enough to help end these programs. MK Ultra was the name for the CIA's program, that dived into the world of behavioral engineering. After the program was declassified, it raised a lot of ethical, and moral concerns, as the US citizenry realized that human beings, were being experimented on with LSD, as well as other substances, for mind control purposes. Several techniques were available in the declassified literature, and witness testimony following the release, as well as before the release, forced the US government to make an official apology to the nation, this was done by Bill Clinton. Victims of the MK Ultra program, were subjected to mind control against their will, and the sad reality is, that most of the details pertaining to the program, were completely destroyed. The declassified literature represents, not even a fraction of the entire program, and what might still be happening today. MK Ultra has become quite a popular name, especially with the references happening in pop culture today. Mind control does not only work by influencing the mind of an individual for ulterior motives, it works through several outlets, like mainstream media and academia. I am not saying that no good comes from these platforms, I am simply saying that their, mainstream media, connections with the intelligence community, highlight exactly what's going on, not just in America, but in many parts of the world, the mass brainwashing and mind control of the human population. We all do the same thing, and we are all directed to take the same path, and participate in the human experience, without ever questioning what is really happening on our planet. What appears to be taking place today, is much more advanced when it comes to behavioral engineering. Those that come forward today, and there are many of them, all have stories that corroborate with one another, and are all very disturbing. Today, there are human slaves, that are emerging from these programs, that are used to pass around secrets, used in, satanic rituals, and basically work for the global elite, in multiple ways. They are literally mind-controlled slaves, and they are either born into these programs, with the same thing happening to their parents, or they are stolen, abducted, often from orphanages, other countries, or foster care systems. MK Ultra has gone mainstream, take the History Channel for example. They recently aired a program called America's War on Drugs, a mini docu series that seemed to provide some good information, about the CIA's involvement in the war on drugs, and the massive political propaganda campaign, that went along with it. The series criminalized the CIA, and the government, and rightly so, discussing their involvement in drug trafficking, production, and testing, on both volunteers, and unwilling patients, including murder. I'm bringing this up, because it's important to mention, the issue with mainstream coverage of MK Ultra. they seem to only focus on one aspect of the program, and that's the LSD part. As a result, when it comes to public knowledge, and awareness of MK Ultra, it's often believed, that they were simply drug mind control experiments, conducted by the CIA, but it's much deeper, and more disturbing than that. These disturbing revelations, come from multiple survivors of the program, who have been speaking out for years. Splitting the personality. Not long ago, I wrote an article about a woman, who goes by the name, Elsa E., she's the author of, Our Life Beyond MK Ultra, which is comprised of, Book 1, and Book 2. In it, her life of trauma-based mind control, from birth, is described, how it happened, what happened, and who was involved. You can read that article linked below, 
MK Ultra Survivor shares how her multiple personalities were used by the global elite. For anybody who researches the MK Ultra topic, this is the basis of it. It's trauma-based mind control. Multiple personality disorder, MPD, is a real disorder, and is often triggered by severe trauma experienced as a child. This is the backbone of the MK Ultra program, torturing individuals, in order to create multiple personalities. These, soldiers, are then apparently used by the global elite, to share classified information, and messages, among other things, without ever questioning what they were doing, sort of like a robot. They don't even remember what they do, because when they're doing it, they're taking on the consciousness of somebody else. Below is a video of a woman named Christy Allen, testifying in front of the Commission, of the International Tribunal for Natural Justice. Here is a list of the I, T, N, J, S, commissioners, and here's a list of their advocates. Quite an impressive list of people, doing some great work to shed light, on multiple human rights abuses, that are currently happening, without the public having any idea. This story is about generational incest, abuse, CIA kiddie porn distribution, and satanic ritual families, that have no idea what they are involved in, on a conscious level. It's about mind whips, controlling those that have the most to offer, it's about how the priesthood, sacred societies, Freemasonry and a satanic pedophilic agenda, is widely used to control governments, religions and local police to do their bidding. What do you do with this information? Well, the idea that there are children, and people suffering, as a result of this doesn't sit well, and as a human race, we have a responsibility to raise our voice, and speak out against the parts of our experience that do not resonate. Perhaps there is nothing you want to do with this information, but that doesn't mean those bringing light to this area should stop doing so. One thing is for certain, awareness on multiple, injustices, has led to a drastic reduction of those injustices. Think of the recent, GMO, Monsanto, court case for example, if everyone stayed quiet, this great result may never have happened. Secrecy is their necessary tool, and if we do not speak up for those without a voice, we simply continue to let it happen. With more sharing, with more awareness, those from within, like Christy, and others, who have worked directly within these programs, will continue to gain the strength, and bravery, to come forward and speak. So, the best thing you can do is share this information, process any emotions that come up from it, and ultimately help tell the stories of these people. It can be heartbreaking, and hard to fathom, that this type of thing actually happens, which is why many choose to ignore it, but you have to confront the challenges we face, collectively. At a collective soul level, we have an entirely different game playing out, than we perceive through our minds. We're here to grow through some difficult times on our planet, and coming to terms with some of the, darkness, we've created, is part of the process. We can do this. Thank you for watching. Please help spread the word, and make a difference, by sharing and subscribing for more thought-provoking content, and give us a thumbs up if you liked the video. Your support is greatly appreciated. Be aware, and stay safe.